Field and nine. They're ready. They're off. You and I stands up in the gate and now bursts loose minus the rider. So up front, charging through into an early lead, that's Blue Sky, guided by Prince Solder. Heroin is there with Millennium Star also showing speed. Select Me is right there, Wildfire toward the outside, and these are tightly packed up. Beginning to fade out of it, that's Blue Sky dropping back as the leaders arrive at the half mile. Oh so long races just a length in behind Blue Sky in the white cap, and toward the outside and at the back of the field, she's Nene not producing anything at the moment. They're about to arrive at the final three-eighths of a mile. On the outside, Millennium Star in the colors of Rabelais called the lead. Select Me now cutting into it, and Select Me grabs it, and Scrapes Painters are about to come into the lane. It is Select Me in the green, stepping just off the rail. Millennium Star right alongside, more toward the middle, and Millennium Star may just have picked up a slim lead, but these two continue to battle for it. Down against the rail, that's Blue Sky getting rapid fire. Cracks of that left-hand stick heroin is trying to close up in the center, but now Millennium Star Star is drifting off a true line and heading for the stand fence, but may just have the lead. Select Me refusing to quit on the far side, and it is these two who battle for it. Millennium Star nearest to us. Select Me over on the far side. They're driving up toward the line, and it looks as if Select Me has beat Millennium Star. Finishing back in third, that's Blue Sky ahead of Heroin. She's Nene is fifth. They're off and racing. Cinemax steps a bit slow. Going for that lead on the outside, that's Sir John. High Diplomacy hustled up right there too, Sir. So John and High Diplomacy. High Diplomacy brings them to the seven. Just the leader from Sir John on the outside. Then comes Azaria racing in third. As they go toward the uh, six furlong point, the war up front continues. High Diplomacy on the rail. Sir John on the outside passing the six. There are three lengths in front of Azaria. Right against the rail, that's Chinamax recovering. Then comes another bullet. Two lengths away before we come to the trailing pair of Angelos and on the inside pair it is. They're past the five. And Sir John narrowly as the lead. High Diplomacy is right there for company. Then comes recovering Chinamax going down into third. Right there in fourth, that's Azaria. Behind Azaria, as they pass the four furlong point, that's another bullet tailing off a bit. Angelos and way at the back of the field, Piero it is. They're heading towards the three, and it is Sir John with that lead. Going on now by two lengths, maybe three from High Diplomacy, still chasing in second. Then comes Chinamax racing in third, Azaria comes next, then comes another bullet, they're coming at the top of the lane, and Sir John telling this field goodbye at the top of the lane, about three, four lengths in front, still on the rail, that's high diplomacy, coming out and looking purposeful, that is a Chinamax coming on, Azaria also coming on, but it's still in front and making the running, Sir John in front, Sir John still keeping on, and Sir John is still in front of, here comes Chinamax, hustled up by the rider, it's still Sir John hanging on from Chinamax, Sir John turning back the challenge of Chinamax, and I think this is the second for Robert Halladine, Sir John wins, Chinamax is second, Azaria is third, then comes High Diplomacy in fourth. Field in line and sent off for the third, 1,820 meters. A surety came off just a bit slow. Fly Messenger Fly comes away running with Cottonwood Cathy the Grey as they're about to enter the clubhouse turn with a mile to run. Fly Messenger Fly cuts the corner. Cottonwood Cathy coming up to make eye contact as they charge now toward the seven. Three lengths back to salute the deputy. Four fiver a length and a tail in behind him. Slam races another length back running in fifth as they charge past the seven and into the back stretch. Land of the Catty and Assurity share last. They're moving away now toward the final six furlongs, and the grey Cottonwood Cathy sets the splits by a length and a nose-tickling tail. Fly Messenger Fly in second. Salute the Deputy another length down, all running easily at the moment. A break of some three and a half lengths to four or five are running the rail. Slam right alongside, a gap of four or more to Land of the Catty in the green on the rail and Assurity on the outside. They lead the five. 
They head away now toward the half mile in this, the third event. And the Cottlewood Cathy continues to lead, but not so far. Salute the deputy now pulls alongside as they arrive at the half mile. Fly Messenger Fly stoked up for more run, needing to find three lengths to get to the lead. As Slam is now beginning to progress on the outside as they lead the 7.16. Four Fiver needs to find six, maybe more. Three lengths back to a surety. And Land of Cathy struggling a long way at the back. They've left the three eights. They make the way now toward the final 5.16. And it is Salute the deputy and Trevor Simpson OD out in front and they've slipped away or so it seems. Fly Messenger flies five or six lengths back and under the pump in second. Four Fiver is in the center toward the outside that slam but it's Salute the Deputy continuing to hold that lead and now getting cracks of the right hand stick as Trevor becomes a busy man arriving at the furlong pole. Can they catch this Salute the Deputy? He's making sure they can't. He switches the stick quicker to the left hand and wants more run as Four Fiver begins to nibble at the lead. Fly Messenger flies left back as they charge up but it's all over salute the deputy will win by four or more maybe five four five or is second fly messenger fly third a surety fourth slam fifth it proof coffee and we'll be ready ready for a start they're off right away breaking on the far side that's bazinga getting a flying start and bazinga could have the overall lead. Awesome Anthony is right there on the premises. Major Danger is closest to us. And now drifting across on the far side, that's Bulletproof Coffee. It's Bulletproof Coffee. Awesome Anthony, Bazinga, that's where the action is. Right there too, that's Sister D. Closest to us, that is Major Danger. So they're spread right across the track, coming to the two furlong pole. It is Awesome Anthony, Bazinga. Awesome Anthony and Bazinga. Sister D is not too far away. Also coming on in the middle, that's Atlantic Convoy. But Bazinga showing a good speed. Awesome Anthony not quitting. Bazinga and Awesome Anthony. Atlantic Convoy begins to come forward nicely too. It's Awesome Anthony in front. Awesome Anthony now gets rid of Bazinga. Awesome Anthony going on. And coming on, that's Atlantic Convoy. But Awesome Anthony beats... Got tight for second. It looks like Atlantic Convoy and Bazinga going by together and uh, Sister D in fourth. And 100,000 on the Super 6. Turf Paradise, 80,000 pick four. They're off. Storming gets away pretty quickly in the center. 4,000 is also running fast. Right nearest to us, time to say goodbye in the blue with the red cap and the white sleeves. And time to say goodbye is very, very prominent and may have that overall lead already. 4,000 in the center. C. Don is also racing in the center. Between them, that's Sir Frederick. Storming is drifting over toward us. On the far side, the gray crushing power is running, but time to say goodbye holds the advantage, a good-looking one at the moment. We'll have to stop to lose this. As time to say goodbye continues to drift toward the center, here is Sir Frederick now beginning to come on, 4,000 and storming on the premises, but still time to say goodbye leads Sir Frederick by two lengths. It's time to say goodbye under the stick and being pushed out by Roger Hewitt. Time to say goodbye will win it. Over Sir Frederick, close. Could be 4,000 over Crushing Power. Storming, maybe fifth over Matriarch and Valiant. They're often racing. Seven and a half for along the trip. Uncle Vinny misses it and he's left at the back of the field early. Sebastian goes for that lead. Also there, that's expeditious. My mom just is out wide as they come toward the, uh, the six furlong point. It is Sebastian, Uncle Vinny coupling up nicely right against the rail. Old Wolf is right there too. Then comes expeditious. Coming on on the outside of Bold Sammy. That is uh, Kingswood, be right behind Kingswood, that Duke of Springs as they pass the five. Then comes Miss Linda Ray. My mom just comes next in the blood. Dr. Gray and... R Ricky Ricardo hopelessly out of it at the moment as they come towards the four and passing the four and it is Old Wharf that kicks and gets the lead from Sebastian racing in second right there in third that's a Kingswood Uncle Vinny hustled up a knock for more coming on the rail that's Bold Sammy Expeditious is right there too 
also joining that fray. That's Miss Linda Ray. As they come towards the two and a half for a long point, it's old, it is Old Wharf in front and traveling nicely. Old Wharf stepping off the rail. Switch toward the inside. That's Sebastian also coming on. That's Kingswood. And Sebastian looks to be coming back for more. Old Wharf in front of Sebastian trying to get to Old Wharf. These two are fighting for it. Old Wharf against the rail. Sebastian against the rail determined. Old Wharf trying to keep up. Sebastian, it's Old Wharf finding a bit more fun on Sebastian and Old Wharf begins to put pay to this field and Old Wharf getting out of the grass off of Sebastian. Robert Halliday, that's three on the day. It's Old Wharf, Sebastian, then comes Duke of Springs, Kingswood and my mom just. Field in line. 1,200 meters, six furlongs, they're off immediately, and Silver Soul blows the start along with Absolute Blue. Mardell gets a good one and dashes into that lead. Jungle Cat on the outside. Dr. Sahir Alexander in the blue races near the rail. There goes Last Hurrah, Sensational Storm almost hidden from view as they charge down the backstretch and head toward the half mile. In behind that grouping, Absolute Blue. Gone in the grill is some six or seven lengths off that lead, trapped by Avery and Diane, and Silver Soul yet to recover after a slow start. They've left the half mile, they arrive at the 716th. Sensational storm hidden on the outside of Last Hurrah, they match strides. They're four lengths in front of Mardell. Absolute Blue shaken for run. Jungle Cat needs to do more. Dr. Sahir Alexander is now taken to the outside. Avery and Diane getting cracks of the stick and gone in the grill. Still at Caymanus Park at the back as they leave the quarter pole. And it is Sensational Storm at the top of the lane who has that lead. Last hurrah trying to close upon the rail. Here is Mardell let loose for a challenge. But it is Sensational Storm who holds the lead arriving at the furlong pole. Aaron Shatry and Sensational Storm have it. Last hurrah is over on the rail. Mardell continues the chase but Sensational storm shaken up in the end by Shatry is going to hold them off and take the seventh event by maybe four and a half lengths. Sensational storm wins it close between Mardell, Last Torah, then Jungle Cat, Dr. Sahir Alexander is fifth. She goes in. Field in nine for the Eileen Trigot Memorial Trophy. Uh, they're off. Perfect start. She's my destiny. Shows the early speed. Mahogany coupling up and now moving as they leave the sixth to join. She's my destiny, who has a very narrow lead by her head. Some three lengths opens up to King Arthur. Curlin's affair attached to the outside of King Arthur and Duke just at the back, but no more than four and a half lengths separates the entire bunch as they charge down the back stretch and make their way toward the half mile. She's My Destiny continues to hold a narrow lead. Mahogany bouncing easy in second. Curlin's Affair is two lengths back now on the go as they race past the 716th. King Arthur back in fourth and Duke is now fifth as they make their way flashing past the three. She's My Destiny trying to steal it. Leads by a length and a half. Mahogany with the big weight now coming into it as they leave the 516th. Further back to Curlin's Affair. Duke the grey on the outside and King Arthur toward the back. But it's She's My Destiny now. Here comes Mahogany kicking in on the outside. She's My Destiny in the battle with the big horse Mahogany. And now Mahogany points. She's My Destiny refusing to quit. Showing determination and grit. But Mahogany now kicks away from She's My Destiny as expected and begins to power away from them. It is Mahogany and the champion jockey, Dane Dawkins. This is the Eileen Piggott Memorial Trophy. Mahogany takes it easily in the end by maybe three. She's my destiny second, Duke third, Curlin's Affair fourth, King Arthur fifth.
Five furlong straight, this is the 830 sprint. Ready for a start, they're off and racing. Breaking over on the far side, that Lambo girl and the power of her highness. Digital light breaks smartly in the middle. She's a mirage is right there too. Sugar, sugar, we can make out is right there. Over to on the near side, that is a Kismet along with Princess Ifia and Ansemai Purs. They're spread right across the track. Sugar Sugar really traveling well in the middle. It's Sugar Sugar over in the middle. Right there too, that's Kismet. Ansemai Pur is right in the mix. They're darting across as they come towards passing the two and it is a war up front. They're spread right across the track and it is making the runnings. Kismet, Kismet and Ansemai Purs. Also there, that's Princess Ifia. Bella Bella is on the premises too. They're coming to the furlong pole. It's Kismet, Bella Bella and Princess Ifia. Princess Ifia and, and Kismet, Kismet also there. If Bella Bella, Bella Bella is right there too. It's very close. Could be Bella Bella over Kismet. Then comes Princess Ifia, Gally Gally Lynx and Sugar Sugar. Seven furlong the trip. They're off and racing. Vanquisher is left at the back of the field early as they move towards the uh, six furlong point. Out wide, Old King Cole has that lead, but running wide now coming across. And it's Old King Cole leading them past the uh, six furlong point. Right against the rails, that's Magical Mood. In between horses, that's uh, JJ the striker. Right behind them, that's Regal and Royal. Then comes Zion as they pass the five. Vanquisher recovering. Umran comes next. Mind that cat. Yanza Lynx. Then comes Classical Orb and racing at the back of the field as they go past the four furlong point. That's right in flight. Magical Mood. Just the leader. Making the running. Old King Cole settled back in second on the outside and coming around. That is Zion hidden from view right on the inside of Zion as they pass the three. That's Regal and Royal. Then comes Mind That Cat coming on. That's Omron. They're coming to the top of the lane and it is still making the runnings. Magical Mood. Old King Cole is right there too. Also coming on as Zion right against the rail. Regal and Royal had to be switched for space. It's a war coming to the furlong pool. It's there all across the track. Anybody wants it more will win from here. Here comes in the middle, Classical Orb, Classical Orb. Now hits the front, it's Classical Orb in front, coming out wide. It's Zion, Classical Orb keeping Zion. Home run comes a call in, but it's Classical Orb. Classical Orb is in it to win it. Classical Orb beats home run. Then comes Regal and Royal. Ian Zelinks, very cut, cut tight for third.